because I think this should be going up on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day, whatever. Hope you're enjoying your day, whether you're single or not, okay? Um, this day is about love. So love yourself, love others, and yeah. So um, a while ago, I filmed a video um, or behind the scenes of how I made a gallery wall on a budget, okay? Because uh, you don't realize how expensive gallery walls are until you want to do one yourself. So I wanted to do a gallery wall with about nine frames and um, I was finding prices at like Bed Bath & Beyond for like $80 for nine frames and I was finding prices at Target for about $100 for nine frames and I was like, ooh, that's a little steep. For a gallery wall, there's gotta be a better way for me to do this. Um, even Ikea, if you go and you buy their frames, it could be $7.99 a frame. Um, and those are on the larger side, which is good, but you know, you're still spending upwards of $70 for nine frames. The budget route that I went down was buying my frames from Dollar Tree. Now, now, do they look the best quality? No, they don't, no. Do they look good enough though? Yes. They do. They only cost me a dollar each and I bought nine frames. Nine dollars versus a hundred dollars. I'll take nine dollars, Alex. Thank you very much. In order to get the look that I wanted to get, I wanted custom mats inside of the frames. The mats that came with the frame itself, they, it, it was just trash. I had the idea of making custom mats. Yeah, I bought poster board from Walmart. On the back of the poster board was a grid, which was perfect because you really kind of need to make sure these are lined up perfectly. Otherwise you can take a cheap project and make it look cheap. And that's not what we're trying to do here. In all, the project probably cost me around, let's see, $10 for the frames because I broke one. It was about another $2 for the poster board and then another $15 it cost me to print out the photos. So maybe around $28 for the whole project. That's not bad. Just to go over the material that you'll need, again, your frames, obviously, a uh, poster board from wherever you want. I got mine from Walmart, like I mentioned, an X-Acto knife. If you don't already have them, they're pretty cheap as well. I wouldn't suggest cutting this with um, scissors because I don't think you would get the sharpest of edges. A ruler and a cutting board. These are things that hopefully you have at home and they make this project go by so much smoother. Okay, so let's jump into the video so I can show you guys how I put this together and how I put it up on my wall. Okay, let's go step by step here. The first thing you need to do is grab your frames. I have nine frames from the Dollar Tree. Once you grab your frame, you wanna open it up if they're nice and sealed. Hopefully they are. Cut that baby open with your X-Acto knife. There are things in there that you wanna get rid of right away, okay? The mat, get rid of it. The cardboard in it, get rid of it. I kept the picture. I kept it just for now because I didn't have my pictures at the time. So we're going to actually take the glass from the frame and that is going to be our template to trace or cut out our poster board mat. We want the mat to be the size of the frame so and I used it it was weighted enough that it kind of would stay in place while I use the X-Acto knife to trace around it and cut it out. So that's the easy part. It gets a little bit more difficult when you start to cut the inner half of the poster board or the inner half of the mat and this will all depend on the size of photo that you want to put in there. For the most part, I wanted to find the center of the new mat that I created and I kind of measured from the center out. So if it was four inches across, I measured two inches from the center that way, two inches from the center that way. And if it was six inches up or seven inches, I did three and a half inches down. The grid is very helpful. So if you can get the poster board with the grid, I suggest it, it'll make your life a lot easier, okay? You'll just use, it's connect the dots, people. Connect the dots, okay? It's very simple. You will use your ruler to just kind of outline that little square that you've created and then use your X-Acto knife and you cut it out and there's your mat. Now. In order to make things simpler, you can now use this as your template moving forward. Um, that way all of your mats should pretty much be uniform. Now that you have your template, it is important and I really suggest that you take your time when cutting out the rest of your templates. Don't rush it, because like I said, we, we want to take a cheap project and make it look cheap. We don't want to take a cheap project and make it look cheaper. Okay, now that you have all your mats cut out, you want to pretty much put all your frames or put your pictures back together. At this moment in time, I didn't have my photos, so I just put all of the stock images back inside of the frame. After we have all of our frames good to go, what I actually did was I laid them out, all nine frames out in front of the wall 
that I wanted to put them on. This was so I can see the spacing and see how it would look. If you look down and then look up, you kind of have a good idea of how it will look on the wall. And I wanted to make sure everything was spaced out properly. So I took a ruler um, and I kind of measured about two inches in between every single frame. So if there's nine frames, there was two inches from left to right, from top to bottom. I wanted to make sure the spacing was accurate. I also measured from frame hook to frame hook. So the center of the frame to the center of the frame, that way you can line up your screws perfectly on the wall when you get it up there. The next thing I wanted to do was measure out my wall and I wanted to find the center of the wall. The center of the wall is where the center of your top photo will go. So I measured it from the top center photo and then I kind of worked my way out from there. I know I wanted all my frames to be spaced out two inches and two inches but I also really wanted to make sure that I was measuring from the center of the frame to the center of the next frame and keeping that consistent across and down. I use regular screws, I put them in the wall. Um, I understand that some of you are renting, I'm renting as well, but I, I like to, <laughs> I'm a little bit more daring, okay? So I take some risk um, sometimes. So um, I just use screws, you can use frame hooks, whatever. Make sure you put all of your screws up first. That way you can kind of see what you're working with. Um, also use a leveler, a leveler is really important. That way you can make sure that your screws are not, you know, we wanna make sure our pictures are straight. Once all of the screws were in the wall, this is when I started hanging up all the pictures, um, just trying to straighten them out, adjust the screws a little further down or up, depending on how the frames were looking, if they were lining up perfectly. And this is the final look, guys. I think it came out great, okay? Um, I got, these are all of my pictures that I printed out myself. I took them myself. These are from all locations that I've been in the last couple of years. And I also added a picture light, which is optional. Obviously this whole thing is optional, but if you do add a picture light, I would suggest getting a battery operated picture light, especially if you rent or you just don't wanna put holes in your wall or things like that. I wish I would've thought of this before I did that because now I have this little white bar going across and going down to hide the picture wire, uh, picture light wire, but I don't think it looks too bad, but I would definitely do it differently. I'm gonna be buying more picture lights that are battery operated. I'll list the one down in the description below, uh, uh, the one that I think I'm gonna buy and I most likely will buy, will probably be a better option. Okay, now that we're done with that, I just wanna say, um, if you like this video, found it helpful, um, subscribe to my channel or give it a like, definitely, or do both. You know, 95% of you guys watch my videos and you don't subscribe. Subscribing is nice. Just saying. That's it. I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.